Welcome everyone. Um, I'm here to share with you about a juicy, 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 juicy archetype. Um, and we're going to be doing work in our community of flesh and spirit for two days in February around this juicy archetype. So we do ecstatic massage trainings, which is getting men on tables to go on an inner journey while they use breath work and sound and touch and pleasure, touching all of the body, opening things up to have what the, the, the shamans and the ancients understood about that connection of heaven and earth, that connection to ourselves that takes us deep inside. So we do that regularly. And in February, we're gonna do it around the archetype of the sacred prostitute. So the sacred prostitute, and I'm gonna do a series of little tidbit videos for you to get warmed up to this idea of what's the sacred prostitute? What's its relevance to my life in this time in which you live and in which you inhabit this yummy body that you inhabit? So the sacred prostitute. Um, the sacred prostitute is an archetype that is about erotic spirituality. It's about the union of, of the erotic and spiritual being one and the same. In the workshop that we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you just two really quick little samplings. But you know, shame, it's kind of like, um, this is a medicine shield behind me. And the medicine shield is really about drawing in and welcoming in all of the connections from, from our guides and, and the elements that support us in really having protection, health, wealth, uh, service to the world, you know, all of those good things. The medicine shield is like a magnet. And so a shield like that is actually drawing in. But there are also shields, as we well know, that actually hinder us from receiving. So we're gonna actually do two different things. On the first day in this uh, juicy workshop, we're gonna drop some of what we call the shame that's held in our bodies. So shame for us, and we'll kind of talk about that in some further videos, uh, but shame that's held in our bodies that keeps us from really showing up and being fully alive and present, but shame that also shields us. So one of the exercises that I created years ago is called an emotional deconstruction exercise. And it's simply taking a shape and a form that describes an emotion. So if I'm in my shame, I'm just really pulling in, I'm shielding myself, I'm especially shielding my heart, but I'm, I'm, I'm pulling in. So it's like an isometric exercise where, you know, I'm pulling in tight, uh, but it's, it's to keep things out. And that's what shame does. It really not only doesn't allow us to love fully out, but it doesn't allow us to receive love fully in. So we'll play with this exercise of, of deconstructing our shame and using lots of fun ways to, to touch and breathe and move and, 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 and clear out some of those, what we call body stories. The second day we'll do our ecstatic massage. Interestingly enough, we'll use that same kind of isometric exercise to do what's called a big draw or bridge between the worlds. And so we'll take a big breath and we'll go and we'll hold it and hold it and hold it as long as we can hold it and then let it go and go on a big journey of, of finding and discovering uh, what it is and who we are. So interesting, this can be a shield or this can be the pathway that releases us to freedom. So 
I hope this entices you into what is he talking about? I want to know more. And we're going to send you or put up many different videos about the sacred prostitute in this yummy journey that we're going to have for two days in February. Namaste.